Next year will mark 250 years since James Cook completed his journey to Australia. And to mark the occasion, the replica of the endeavour will do a lap of Australia. And the government is tipping in millions of dollars to make that happen. Australia's 1988 bicentenary was the largest party in our nation's history. More than a million people cramming Sydney's foreshore. Police have never seen crowds like this before. Most people who live here now seem to think Australia is the best place in the world. And the rest of the world finds it difficult to argue. Today at Cooktown in far north Queensland, the very place Captain Cook beached his ship for repairs, the Prime Minister announced the nation will next year spend $50 million celebrating the 250th anniversary of his epic journey. You don't crab walk away from your history. You, 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 you open yourself to it. Cook set off in 1768, navigating the HMAS Endeavour down to the rumoured Great Southern Land. He wasn't actually a captain, but a lieutenant. To many, though, his legacy is vexed. To honour his voyage, our replica Endeavour will circumnavigate Australia, stopping at 39 ports. That's despite the first circumnavigation being accomplished by this man, Matthew Flinders. Indigenous groups consider the whole idea incendiary. Well, it just brings back the start, doesn't it? I think they should really be talking about the history of what happened there because I still see school children being brought around that cove and told a story that Cook arrived to an empty shoreline. The minister responsible promises both sides will be told. We'll be looking at things from the point of view of those on the ship and those on the shore. Indigenous groups are also being told the event will include the repatriation of culturally sensitive artefacts, or in other words, items stolen. I believe it will be a, a voyage of bringing Australians together. For others, anger continues to smoulder. Jonathan Lee for 10 News First.